Hello, thank you for joining me. Today is another episode of Miniature Railway Britain. Now today's episode is really a completely different one. It's going to be very strange. We are going to hopefully go to Miniature Railway. I very much doubt we're going to get a ride on the Miniature Railway. We might not even see any trains. But I'm going to make up for it with a few more exciting things. Because firstly, I might not look it, but I'm actually standing on an old full-size railway track bed. And to give you a clue as to where I am, all I have to do is walk into this car park and I shall turn the camera around and I shall reveal where I am. Those of you who recognise the location will know I'm at Shrewsbury Abbey. This is the old Shrewsbury Abbey station and of course the building in the background is Shrewsbury Abbey. So what's the miniature railway got to do with this? Well we'll find that out in a minute but firstly I'm going to walk along the platform of the old Shropshire and Montgomeryshire light railway. This would have been a fascinating railway in its time. It was one of the, I believe it was one of the Connell Stevens light railways. He designed railways or built railways such as Kent and East Sussex and East Kent. And this was one of his. It had such a checkered history. So many things happened. I'm not gonna possibly attempt to try and tell you all of them. I'll put a little clip in now. So that clip I just posted then tells you all the history of this station, how it opened, it closed, it first opened in 1866 and it eventually closed as an oil terminal in the late 80s. So it's really had a very extensive history and it's been used for passengers and it's closed. Um, it, so it, its main survival really was the fact it was used by the army. And um, it also had what I think is supposed to be the smallest standard gauge tender engine and I, she is now in the um, Connell Stevens Light Railway Museum at the Kentney Sussex Railway. So we're just walking along the platform as you can clearly see. Over there is the main railway into Shrewsbury which goes down towards um, Hereford etc. Now here is the surviving Abbey Station and it's been partly restored to tell you, look it says um, the S and M RLY Abbey Station. So. Shropshire and Montgomeryshire Railway Abbey Station and of course there is no mistake in the Abbey. Now the Abbey, before we go to the Mitch Rails a little bit about the Abbey, oh and by the way there's a quite a nice Jaguar parked here where trains once ran as a Jaguar and a Japanese imported Toyota Lucida in Britain they were called a Previa. You don't see that many of them now either. So that's the railway station or site of the railway station. There really is no mistake in the Abbey. Now Bits of the Abbey are sort of spread out about here, so we'll just do a little bit on the Abbey. I'm not going to walk into the Abbey filming, um, but I will, um, might go and have a look, and if I take some pictures, I might just put them in afterwards. We've got a little bit of the Abbey here, and unfortunately, the gate is locked, so we can't go in there. If we go up here, there's quite a nice little garden which is free to visit, so we'll go and have a quick look there, and that has some. Um, you know, some of it's done with a nod to the spectacular abbey behind us. So the place I'm going to take you to now, I appreciate it's a bit noisy because we are by a busy road, but you can, I can go and make this urban setting of an abbey look, look rural if we go in here. This is the Shropshire Wildlife Trust. They've got like a little um, garden and conservation area. It's really quite pleasant even in the rain. So if we wander into here, you can see a bit more of the Abbey. I believe that's the old infirmary. And there's these gardens, which are, I think are kind of designed as a nod towards the cloisters. And I see what I mean. I've kind of, the Abbey looks a bit more rural setting now. If we go down here, I love what they've done here. They've got this arch. It's not just any arch, it's the edible arch. It's made of various things you can eat, including hazelnuts and apples. So I think that's a really nice idea. So these are apple trees and this bush is hazelnut so yeah this is a really pleasant little garden it's free to visit instead the mainline railways there it'd be nice if a train came along i don't know if it will that's part of the old infirmary i believe also there was a big mill around this area a big water mill um in somewhere around here i'm not sure all of the abbey's history is in and out but now let's go and find this mysterious miniature railway I've promised you. 
I'm going to let you see the Abbey first though. So as we walk back past the where the Abbey station would have been, and like I said it's latter days, it became an oil terminal. There's still semaphore signals on the main line, which is one thing I really like about Shrewsbury. I like the name of that bus stop as well, the Abbey. You can see it looks as though, so thinking about it, what would be the south transept of the Abbey? Looks like it came further, you can see a little bit of ruins there. So the Abbey was obviously bigger once, I'm not quite sure how it came to be to lose that much of the south transept, but you can see how they've had to rebuild it in the former arch. So walking back past the Shropshire and Montgomery Shears Light Railway Shrewsbury Abbey Station, we're going to go and find a miniature railway in possibly the most unlikely place ever. Oh, you can actually can you go in the station. I didn't know about this, and this isn't a miniature railway. Um, but let's go and have a look. I'll come and have a proper look in a minute. So, in there is a huge load of books on railways. So I'm going to go in and buy some and probably that will annoy my mother and my girlfriend, but you know, they're railway books, so they're probably going to be exciting. I didn't know that was there, but I just wanted to let you see inside the station. Now, we're leaving the Shropshire and Montgomery Railway in search of this, what must be one of the strangest miniature railways I've ever gone to. Um, not many people know about it, but it is somewhere up here. Not far now, as if it's still here. I last knew about discovering this place five years ago. Will it still be here? I believe this building might be some good of it. Let's go and have a look. Oh, yes, let's have a look. Look here. There's another track. You can see the semaphore signal. It's probably on the same as the shortest route. So it literally goes into that garage and just up there. So here we are. I believe it was one that's a lot bigger. There's a point over there. And I think it was built with controversial goods around the arch. shedding there and what's in that shed and then the track mysteriously ends there I think then what happened the track goes on a bit further and there's another line back through the shed that way so yeah here we have what must be the shortest miniature railway and um, the quietest miniature railway and strangest miniature railway ever and the Shropshire Montgomery railway is just the other side of that fence or it was so from this very unusual miniature railway in Shrewsbury. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.